Hi and welcome, it's Ruth here at Artful Stampin. I've just realised I've got my, got my address right in front of you there. Um, let's pop that there. Right, hello and welcome. Sorry. Uh, this arrived for me earlier today. I've been busy helping my husband. Well, I should say helping my husband. The garage is not the my husband's domain, it's our domain. Uh, yeah, we, so we've just been sorting out some space in the garage because we needed to go and pick up some... So the, the building that we use for church is not ours and we had stuff stored there and they wanted, the people who own the building wanted us to come and clear some stuff out. So anyway, I've been doing that this morning and uh, then my, as I was clearing up downstairs, my daughter said, oh, Stampin' Up! Boxes arrived for you. So, right, now some of this isn't for me. Some of this is for customers, but I thought it would be nice it, to show you anyway. Um, I won't obviously say who's what customers and you know I won't be giving away secrets but um, I'll just show you them I won't say who they're for whether they're for me or not and uh, there we go right basket of blooms this is a lovely little floral set which um, matches up with that lovely little fl flower punch that was available during celebration and has carried over thank goodness because we needed a little flower punch and this is the stamp set that matches it and it has all these lovely little other floral elements to it and things to put your flowers in you know a vase pot and a basket of course that's what we need so that's that's lovely this is Beautiful Moments, which is the sort of more, the, the sort of female orientated version uh, stamp set that I think teams up very nicely with the, the more masculine one with the, the father with the child, you know, cat on his shoulders and all that kind of thing. Really lovely for scene building. Very, very nice. Uh, oh, now you'll probably, but the person who this one is for uh, will probably, uh, you'll probably guess if you follow my channel but anyway this is the gorgeous uh, magnolia not magnolia peony stamp set so there we go look she knows she knows who she is there we go um well done this goes with a fabulous punch now i think i'm going to be asking some of my customers whether or not i can uh, stamp stamp and cut some images before these go to them because um not all of these belong to me. Okay, that's that's not for me. That's for a customer. Take your pick tool. That's for a customer. Oh, now I'm very excited to have a go. I did order the new adhesives. So maybe I'll have a play with that later on today. I'll come back and do a proper video with you guys. Uh, that's a customer. That's a customer. This is a customer who's very wisely purchased the... Um, yeah, she's purchased the new in colours. She's a smart lady, so uh, she'll be happy to play with those. Although she's been in her garden quite a bit, so hopefully this will coax her back. Now I can definitely say that these ones are for me. Framed for you. I'm desperate for another couple of little flowers to play with, so I thought this was quite a nice set and goes, because it's a distinctive one as well, uh, it will go and match really nicely when I'm doing the One Sheet Wonders and floral type stamping. This is the host set. So if any of my customers are interested in having this set, do let me know because you can redeem your points for this if you want to, your, your vouchers. So do let me know. Uh, I, I like this. This is a lovely sympathy sentiment font there love you most i don't get that do you get that love you most i don't get that shouldn't it say love you the most oh i don't know anyway i like the love though i think i can use that uh for the beautiful ways you touch my heart oh that's nice and then i really like these scrolly bits these are going to be making a feature on my one sheet wonders for sure for sure for sure uh, I think this is for a customer. The World of Good Memories and More Pack. I don't really want to get it out because um, there we go. Uh, but that's the Memories and More Pack. This is the new label punch. I know, I know most of you have seen some of this stuff, but I know, I know some of you love an unboxing video. So I thought I'd do it. Uh, might even have a go. I'll, I'll message my customer and say, do you mind if I have a little 
play before I bring it up to you. I've got nice customers like that, you see. Basic grey reinker. I needed it. Ah, now this, you will not have seen this because I've not mentioned this as yet publicly. This came into stock a few days ago, or a couple, about a week or so ago. This is the metric ruler for our new um, cutting... Uh, what's it called? Our cutting tool. So if you prefer to use metric, so at the moment I've got the inch one along here. So this just swaps out and I can put the centimetre one on. Okay, and then I just pop, pop out my blades and I've got the metric option. It's not, it's very pretty inexpensive. Thank you, the trimmer. That's the word I wanted. It could be Jess. Yes, it could be. I'll, I'll look at that font again. I'm probably not looking at it properly. Uh, yeah, so I think it came out at 375. So if you like to have the metric, I mean, have both. That when you purchase a trimmer, it comes with the inches, and then you can you can purchase the centimeters if you like it. Three seventy five. Can't go too badly wrong with that, I don't think. So there we go. Ah, she forgot about the new ruler. <laughs> right now, oh, there's a stamp apparatus in there. Now that's a present for somebody. Uh, what have we got? Ornate layers. Ah, now this is for a customer, this is not for me, but again, I think I'll give her a little tinkle. Sorry, that sounds really rude. I'll give, tinkle means ring in the UK. It can also mean P, but anyway, you know what I mean. I'll give her a little call and say, oh, can I cut some out, please? She's a very sweet lady, so I'm sure she won't mind. Oh my goodness. Oh, aren't they beautiful? Oh my word. Oh. <gasps> Okay, hands up. Who's got this? Who's got this already? That's my alarm to tell me my sausage rolls might be ready. Um, oh, look at that. Oh, so shabby chic. So kind of French. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, I think I might give her a ring and say... Sorry, I've also ripped your packaging as well. Did I just rip that packaging? Yes, I did. Oops. Oh, I'll put it back later. Right. Oh, the little boxes. These are the new mini paper pumpkin boxes. When I was at school, I had the embarrassment of telling me they wanted to give me a ring. I thought they meant a ring and not a collar. <laughs> ah. Oh, I know. Words are hilarious, aren't they? Yeah, that's, that's a brilliant story, Esther. How did I know not know, know that story? Brilliant, love it. So these are the new mini paper pumpkin boxes. And I presume there's a shiny side and then there's a matte side. And I'm thinking, wouldn't it be fabulous to stamp on the matte side? <gasps> we could do a one box wonder, <laughs> stamp on your box. And then imagine that, I'm not going to close it up, but basically it closes up. And I do believe it will house our little, um, our little note, note cards and envelopes will fit. Oh, look at that. They fit perfectly. So if you want to do a little gift for somebody, you know, a little set of cards, you can do matching box with the cards. Right, we're definitely going to do that. That is a project, a YouTube project, I think. That is, these are lovely. Obviously, if you do like the shiny side, you can make it up with the shiny side. Um, but I think the shiny side means that you can put cookies in it as well. Oh my goodness, we've just had the loudest thunderclap ever, says Kay. Oh, so you've got storms of brewing down, down south. That's for a customer. Right. Oh, I've got what have I got? Grid paper, which I desperately needed. And what else have I got? Oh, I see I can't cope not having a whole pack of whisper white just in case, you know. You never know. Right, and then I ordered some papers, and this is the fun bit. This is what I wanted to show you, the papers. 
So let's get rid of this box and... Um... Oh, it started raining with you. Oh, right, okay. Put these stumps away. Okay, so let's have a look. I'll just go with what's here. So I ended up, um, because I had, I had one lady wanting to take part in my paper share, and then, so let me just flick my camera back so it, oh, there we go. Sorry guys, bear with, nearly there. There we go. Uh, and I'd already purchased some of the papers, so I didn't then go and repurchase the ones that I already had, because I had enough for the few people that wanted different shares. So I just, just ended up purchasing things that I hadn't got before. Oh, this makes it easier to do the share, actually. Look at that. It, it's already kind of um, divided up. Oh, that's handy. Okay, so we've got that. Oh, that was a surprise, that colour there. All right, oh, I'm going to do all these sides first. That. See, some of these, I could imagine stamping on these. Oh, wouldn't it be fun to stamp flowers in that? Nice. Just sort of neutral geometric designs. Fabulous. Aren't these fun? I actually quite like this palette, the purple posy with the bumblebee. Okay, and then we're back to the beginning again. Well, that's handy because I can just separate those out. And then this is the other side. Again, lots of lovely geometrics. Now you see this sort of paper pack, I couldn't really see myself just using paper pack. I'd want to be mixing it with florals and that is probably what I'll end up doing because I can't, I can't see myself just using it on its own. But that's just me, that's, that's because that's my style. But um, I know some of you guys out there will love this kind of thing. Right, so that's that one. Then we've got Sorry, I haven't been reading your comments. Am I missing comments? <clears throat> ooh, ooh, look at these. Oh, aren't they lovely? Now this one, they've packed in a slightly different way. They've done them together. So I'm just going to take... Actually, I'm going to take two out because two people want this one. Oh, the sausage rolls. You're quite right. Thank you, Anne Howard. Kids, can you get the sausage rolls out the oven, please? Tom, sausage rolls. Thanks, Anne Howard. I would have forgotten. Oh, look at those. These are such happy, happy papers. Goodness me, if you're having a down day, these are the papers that you want to play with. Because, you know, colour is so important in our lives. You know, it can really cheer us up, can't it? Absolutely gorgeous. That, isn't that fabulous? And these are quite inspirational for One Sheet Wonders, aren't they? Like I look at these and think, oh, I wouldn't mind having a go with that colour scheme. Right, I'm nearly at the end. There we go. Last. Last ones. You've just ordered these papers, Margaret. Ah, okay. Good. Right, so let's have a, another look at these. Look at the back side. Sorry, that sounds rude as well. Look at the back side. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my goodness. I love how these are so neutral and so you could do, use these for masculine cards. Even that one. Oh, look at that print. Isn't that pretty? The revert. Thank you, Subo. You're so much more elegant in your, you know, delivery than I am. See, I love that. I love the tone on tone. So, 
I know, tinkles about. And even this with a, a lovely little geometric. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at those. Happy, happy. Right, I do have one spare quarter of, of this, if anyone wants it. Because um, I've got two for my customers. Uh, did I just do that right? Yeah, I've got two for my customers. And then I've got two spare, so one for me. <laughs> I've got to have a. I've got to have a set. Um, it will be quarter of whatever it is, quarter of ten twenty-five. So these, this is the whale papers. Ah, now I don't know. It's funny. In my head, I thought these were twelve by twelve. I know. I know. I've seen people share. I know. I've. I have seen people do videos, but just in my head, I thought it was a twelve by twelve. Isn't that funny? Actually, you know what? It's so much easier to. Uh... Oh, I can. I know what. I'm going to show you the back while I, while I can. Look at that. That's that's a card in itself done, or a scrapbook layout. Ooh, look at that. We could have a go making that. That's like the salt technique, isn't it? Oh, that's nice. Now remember to look at these papers and think shapes and patterns. Don't always immediately let your mind go to what you know they they are telling you it should be. If that makes sense, you know. Yes, it is supposed to look like seaweed, but that greeny one would be fine for a Christmas card. And this one, see, it's just texture to me. The detail on that is beautiful, and I bet that's reflected in the embossing folder. Which was in my basket, and then I took back out because I had to get some other things. So, oh, these turtles are absolutely adorable. They remind me of the turtle in Finding Nemo. That is beautiful. The peacock. Oh, so nice. Oh, and these jellyfish. Stunning. You're drooling. You just got your mini. Oh, well done, Sue. Yeah, a few people in the UK have got theirs. Esther's got hers. Myself and my downline, Joyce, who we're in Wales. We haven't got ours yet. They're a bit slower in Wales. Although I was, I was pleased to see my order come this morning. Look at that. They look like lots of slugs, don't they? <laughs> oh, you have an extensive turtle collection. What, real turtles or... Not real turtles. Right, I'm going to put one of these aside. There we go, that was fun. I want to keep these slightly separate so I don't get these muddled up. Right, now, I was excited about this glimmer paper. When I first saw it, I thought, oh, that's a bit much. It's, it's a bit in your face, isn't it? But I'm thinking if you cut out small pieces, you can then choose which sort of part of the rainbow you'd like to have, which I think is really nice. And then it's, it's you know, you've got like a yellow bit with a little bit of orange or you've got pink with a bit of purple. So I can imagine just using little tiny pieces of this. I don't think I'd use it you know, in really big chunks. But isn't that, oh, it's very happy. Very, very happy. Right, uh, this is Playful Pets. Now this is 12 by 12. Oh, excuse me a second. My husband needs to take a call. Hold on. Tom. Sorry guys, someone was ringing my other phone and I can't answer it obviously because I'm talking to you guys. Now, when I open a pack like this, what I do is, you see they've got the sticky bit there, I immediately pop that on the inside because there's nothing worse than when you're trying to get the papers back in and it ends up sticking on that bit. bit. Oh, look at these. Oh, look at the... Oh. Now, you see, I always say I'm not really a doggy person or a cat person because I don't have a dog or a cat, but I do like them when they're cute. <gasps> look. 
Oh, and then there's a fabulous stripe. Oh, gosh, that that might do your eyes on the screen, but that's um, a fabulous stripe. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? Oh, look at these ones as well. I have a, there's a dog that lives opposite me that looks a bit like that. Oh, mm, but anyway, he's huge. He's a bit like that. Oh, look at the little paws. <laughs> and that's just sort of, I don't know, is that supposed to be fur or something? Oh, look at those cats. Oh, there's more cats. Oh, my word. Okay, as you probably know, this is not really my kind of paper, but they are cute. So, um, if anyone wants a, share, a quarter share of this, please let me know. Because I will have spare. And I think I'm going to give some to my neighbour because she's got a great big dog and she's just had a new puppy. She keeps putting videos on Facebook of her new puppy, who's ever so cute. So I think she'd like those. And she is a bit of a crafter. So. The Pekingese reminds me of Tricky Woo from James Herriot. Oh, you know what? I need to go back and watch James Herriot. I used to watch it. Now, this is called Artistry Blooms. Thank you. Um, sorry, I'm just getting my phone back so I can see your comments. There we go. And again, this is the sort of paper that I would like to team with something else. Did Tom get his set yet? No, I've ordered it. It's in picking. So this, again, as I said, I don't, couldn't really see myself using it just on its own, but with other things as like a really fabulous background. Like I could try stamping a, a wreath on that and that's already got the kind of texture in the background that I like. So watch this space, everybody, you know. Oh, that's nice. I like that green. That's such a happy, vibrant colour, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Ooh, I could stamp flowers through the middle of that. <gasps> ooh, ooh, and that one. Not sure about that. That just looks like skin disease. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I like that. Not sure about that. Last one. Last. Yeah, not sure about that. Because to me, I could do this myself with a ink pad. But that is a bit subtler, you know, that to get that effect, you'd have to kind of work the paper and use water and stuff like that. But yeah, no, absolutely gorgeous colours. Uh, if anyone, again, if anyone wants a, uh, have I got a quarter spare of this? I think I've got a quarter spare of this. Now, I know Ornate Garden's been around for a while. Oh, I'll keep my favourite for last. <laughs> Ornate Garden's been around for a while, but I've not seen it in real life. So this is going to be fun. Very matte. That's interesting. That surprised me. Very kind of matte finish to that. That's lovely. Very subtle on that side. I don't know, for me it's a bit... Okay, I'm going to say something that you're not going to believe I'm about to say. It's a bit busy for me. Ruth saying it's too busy for her. Yeah, you see, even that one, there's something about this that doesn't... Mm. I'm not sure if I just like those great big white blobs, because I'm looking and all I can see is the white blobs on that. It's pretty. Don't get me wrong, it is pretty. Oh, then I prefer that. Very subtle. Oh, that... Oh, I'd like a dress in that. That reminds me of kind of... Oh, sea salt kind of fabric there's a company in the UK that do beautiful clothes and I would wear that too many flowers yeah Jacqueline it's far too many flowers for me oh 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 look at that okay so that's gold foil nice that's sort of Indian-y to me that's sort of got Indian feel to it yeah or Laura Ashley yeah I've oh, seen that one yeah and that one that's very kind of sea salt looking or Bowden, you know. 
Oh, this would be nice to colour in or cut out as well. Very nice. Yeah, I don't. Mm, that doesn't really do much for me, that one, but nice. That's nice. Ooh. Take care, Lisa. No worries. I'm just, it's just me hanging out with my mates, really, to be honest. Um, yeah, again, I'm not really hugely fussed on that one. That's nice. I could see myself colouring with like blenders, just try, you know, colouring that in. You know, uh, sorry, when I say blenders, I mean ink, the water based ink, and then blending with a sponge. Yep. There we go. Nice. Okay, so just so happens the last one is the one that I am really looking forward to having a look at because I've not seen this close up yet. And I think the colour scheme for this is so sophisticated and pretty. Feminine, but yet elegant. So I believe this is petal pink. Oh, that. Oh, yes. You've got this one for the reverse. Oh, that's interesting, Karen. Your favourite, says Margaret. Mm, no, that side doesn't do anything for me. Yep, that one's fine. Isn't that funny? That just doesn't do anything. But I like that. See, this is where you've got your sort of your large pattern, your medium pattern, and your fine pattern. You see, I would put all three of those on one card. And it would work. Okay, that's interesting. Sort of like a, a texture. Now that I could stamp on. I could do a flower wreath on that one. Oh yeah, nice, nice. Funny, isn't it? I would have thought that I would go for the florals, but I, I've not so ended up not being so keen on those. Yeah, that's okay. I wonder if it's because they're all going up in the same direction. Yeah, so I like the back of that. This is very masculine. I love it. Yeah, that's okay, but it's small. It's a very small design. That is pretty. Hi, Vanessa. Oh, yeah, that I, I don't mind. This looks like it should be on vellum. It feels like I look at it and think, oh, is that vellum? But that's, it's sort of like pencil sketched. I really don't know what I think. Oh, I like that. Gosh, isn't it funny? I really expected to be totally in love with this whole pack, but I have to say, my first impression, I'm sort of, I like half of it. And maybe it's because I would like to play with the stamp set and do different things with it. It's very pretty, don't get me wrong, it is very pretty. Great sympathy cards, very subtle. Yeah, sorry, I'm not saying I don't like it, it's just that I thought I would like it more. Um, I love the colour scheme. Gorgeous. Right, there we go, that's my little unboxing for today. As I said, some of it wasn't for me, some of it is uh, for customers. And... Um, yeah, lots, lots of fun to be had with all these papers. Do drop me a note if, if there's anything that you do want a quarter of. Um, I, I haven't got everything that I can share, but some of this I can. So there we go. I think they're all a bit busy on the floral side. Oh, Sheila's shouting at me. I did not care for that paper. I skipped buying it, says Sheila. There we go. Sheila has made her voice heard. Oh, the last one is the, the peony one. It's called Peony Garden DSP. Yes, your order's in, Nessa. Yeah. Um, actually, now you're here, do you mind if I open the pack? Because I didn't want to open it because it was it's yours. Is it alright if I open it to show everybody? You can say no. Oh, she says, go ahead. Right. I'm not shouting. 
I work in caps. <laughs> That's fine, Sheila. That's fun, isn't it? Nice big bold. Oh, I know what. Let's move these up. That's fun. These are all fun. These have all got foil on them. It's like a brassy foil. That's fun. These are all single-sided, these ones. Oh, I like that map of the world. These make great travelling journal type things. Then these are the stickers. Great for masculine cards and layouts. And as I said, yeah, travel, anything travel themed. I like that they've got the globe from two angles because I always feel that some countries are left out or, yeah, by just having it from the very sort of British-centric viewpoint. Those are nice. Tags. Gosh, there's loads of stickers. That's nice. That fits the... Um, Taylor Tug Punch. Oh, look at that! A British... Oh, let's see if I'm on here. Shrewsbury, Oswald Street, Lishpool. Look. There I am, there. Lishpool. Actually, that's how Southern Americans pronounce Welshpool. They call it Welchpool. Welchpool? I've been to Welchpool. Shrewsbury. Birmingham, Gloucester. Oh, there's a few of you on here that be on here. Let's see, what where's it go? Wrexham, Mould. Sorry, I'm getting absorbed in the map. <laughs> oh, I like that one. Oh, these are double-sided, but I'll come back and do... Oh, no. That's... There we go. So the back side of that is that one. Try Maori names. Oh, yeah, but those are fun. I suppose as you get to used to them, it's the same as um, I think the world of you. Oh, that's nice. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a is that a sextant? Is that what that's called? What's that called? You travelling people out there, will know what that is. Enjoy the journey. Oh, now this is an American one. Oh, look at that. St. Louis, Iowa, New Mexico. Ottawa, Washington. Oh, that's fun, that is. Oh, where's this for now? Domin Dominican of Canada. Oh, this is Canada. Isn't that lovely? That's so thoughtful that they've included different areas. Then they've got Europe, so they've got Austria, Vienna, Switzerland, France. Oh, they haven't got... Germany so much on here. Oh yes, I have Berlin. Oh, let's see. Where's Martina live? She said she lives in the south somewhere. Martina, can you see where you live? Mm. Nuremberg, Prague, Cologne. Oh, Zurich. Cool, I like that. Life is an adventure. Oh no, what's this one? That's, this is the North Pole, I think. Am I missing comments? Between Nuremberg and Prague. There we go, Martina says. What's that one? North Sea. Oh, there's... Scotland. Hey, Scotland, Perth, Dundee, Edinburgh. Janice should be in there somewhere. There's Berlin. Right, so that's all the... Those are all the 6 by 4 cards. Sorry, I got distracted then. It's like, you know when you tidy up and you get distracted by things? That's me. That's nice. These graphic elements are fabulous. Oh, and then again, maps. And what's that say? Dare to live the life you've always wanted. 
today was a great day. So these are very good for journaling prompts. You know, if you're into journaling. Our journey, what a wonderful world. Australia, not there. Wow, I don't know. We'll see. Doesn't seem to be so far, does it? Tut tut. Life is meant for adventures. And so the adventure begins. Be the change you wish to see in the world. I like that. Oh, I've got one already. Explore more. There's Australia. Ta <laughs> no, Becky, I, I know what you're saying. It doesn't seem like they've got um, one with a map on, on it. Dream big. The world cracks open for those willing to take a risk. The world cracks open. Bucket list. It's never too late in life to have an adventure. That's nice. Yeah, it's on the world map, but it's a shame that they didn't do a close-up one. What's this one? Oh gosh, I can't tell what's what on that one because it's quite like a vintage map. Reach for the stars. Reach for the stars. Climb every mountain higher. About this one. Oh, yeah, you're down there. Vicky, I think you should have a word. Tell them to sort it out. So why aren't we on that? Now, I haven't managed to get the papers because the papers are currently out of stock. But the, um, yeah, we're too spread out in this area. <laughs> yeah, but you'd still, I mean, they haven't got the whole of the UK on there. So, and the UK's sort of a funny shape. So, anyway, thank you, Vanessa. Thank you for letting me open that pack up. Uh, and that's it. That comes to the end of my little uh, stash rival. And I hope to see you guys a bit later. I'm off to go and have my, hopefully, not burnt sausage rolls. So there we go. Lots of love to you all. Thanks for popping in. Take care. Bye.